Widespread corruption. That is how the Public Defender's Office is describing the allegations against some Baltimore police officers who have been charged in a federal corruption case. Ava Joy Burnett tells us hundreds of cases may have been impacted. The Public Defender's Office says eight of these officers were connected to more than 2,000 cases, and they believe every single one of them should be tossed out. Baltimore Police Department wants elite gun trace task force is under more scrutiny. Investigators believe the unit of eight officers went rogue. They're accused of stealing thousands from citizens, lying about overtime, and also planting evidence. And just last week, prosecutors filed new charges against Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, the leader of the unit. Federal prosecutors say he orchestrated a plan to plant drugs on a suspected drug dealer. Prosecutors also say he set up the late detective Sean Suter to plant that evidence. And I think like everybody else, we were just completely shocked at the brazenness of the conduct. The public defender's office has been vocal about the illegal activity the officers are accused of carrying out for several years. And the top special litigator says more than 2,000 cases connected to these officers are now tainted. They also believe several hundred are connected to Sergeant Wayne Jenkins alone, but their office has helped approximately 75 people to get out of jail. Even where these officers may not have been essential witnesses, those convictions cannot be trusted. So any single case that Officer Jenkins, Taylor, Hendricks, all of these indicted officers touched, those cases are no longer to be trusted. In the 2010 case where prosecutors say Jenkins allowed drugs to be planted at a scene, the defendant in that case, Umar Burley, spent years in prison, but he was released earlier this year. The Public Defender's Office said 277 cases were connected to those eight officers and 125 were dismissed. Now, even though some of these cases were dismissed, the state's attorney's office says it will pursue charges in some of the other cases. Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ. And the state's attorney's office says there are also others that are still under review. In a statement, the office said, and I quote, we will do our part to minimize any erosion to this trust and remain vigilant in our pursuit of justice.